<laughs> Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and I'm really really happy to bring you a new video today. The video of today is SMT on versus SMT off on Ryzen 5 3600. SMT means simultaneous multi-threading, which is the kind of the same of the hyper-threading on the, the Core i CPUs, so the Intel CPUs. In this case, SMT off will be 6 cores and 6 threads, while the SMT on, which is the normal value, would be 6 cores and 12 threads. I'm making this video, why? I'm making this video because uh, of the architectural changes in the Ryzen 3000 generation. So, in the first generation, the SMT off would give a decent boost over the SMT on. Why? Because of the inner latencies, inner DDR4 latencies, inner cache latencies. Um, well, the second generation fixed that a lot. Uh, so the RAM speeds wouldn't make so much difference, the SMT on and the SMT off wouldn't make that much difference also. Uh, but in this case, the, um, the architectural changes are big. So for example, in the, in the first and second generation, we had uh, several CCX, so um, several core packs, you can call them core packs, whatever. Um, several CCX and they add the memory the memory controller inside the CCX. And well, now things are different. Now we have CCDs, so each CCD can pack two CCX. So we have um, we have the CCDs, then we have the CLOD, um, which connects to the, to the CCDs, which have the CCX inside. But what I mean is that the memory controller is now off, and this is kind of better for the, the cache, for example. Uh, for the cache speeds, but not for the cache latencies, not for the DDR4 latencies. So we are gonna test this, if once again SMT on versus SMT off does make a difference or not. And well, let's now go to the part you really want to see, but before, let's listen a bit to our sponsor of today. The sponsor of today is Skillshare. But what is Skillshare? Well, Skillshare is a worldwide platform that focuses mostly on teaching. You have like thousands of classes. And when I say thousands, I literally mean thousands of classes. You have, for example, acting classes, you have art classes, you have HTML and CSS classes, which matters more, for example, for, for you. I, I think it matters more. The ones that really, that I really, really loved which were the Photoshop classes. These ones were really, really good, I must tell you, and were the ones I enjoyed the most, of course. Uh, and like I said, you have thousands of classes and at an affordable price. You have the monthly pack of 14 euros, which gives roughly uh, 15.8 dollars. So for 15 dollars, you can have access to thousands of classes. And you can pick, for example, for example, you can pick the annual pack and the price will be reduced to 8 euros, so roughly 9 dollars. So with this, you have out of the box 42% discount. And you can go even further and go to the link in the description and have two free months of endless and limitless learning. Skillshare. Well, that's it guys. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe and share the video because that really matters a lot. And finally, let's go to the benchmarks. See you in the conclusion. Well, dear viewers, the first game tested today is Assassin's Creed Origins. Here we can see a slight advantage in average FPS with SMT off. Still, at 1080p we see a decrease in the 1% lows, affecting the smoothness of the gameplay. Basically, it is kind of a trade. You'll have higher average FPS, but lower 1% lows.
The second game is For Honor. For Honor is a GPU sided title, so even at 1080p medium settings we can only see a small difference of 1 FPS on the 1% lows, which is also of course in the margin of error. Overall, not worth disabling SMT in this game. Now with Rainbow Six Siege. Once again we see the same tendency. At 1080p we have 2 average FPS more. But we also have 4 FPS less on the 1% lows. At 1440p and 4K we do have 1 or 2 FPS more being it average or 1% lows. But nothing really big. Small gains. Moving to the next one. Now with a game that loves high frequency and low latency, CSGO. On CSGO we can see a difference of around 10 average FPS at 1080p, still going percentage wise it is only a difference of around 2%, which is not noticeable in real gaming scenarios. Overall the same situation applies, higher average FPS, lower 1% lows. Moving on. The last game tested is Need for Speed Payback. I like to test this game since it always brings me interesting results. And this wouldn't be a different case I guess. <laughs> As can be seen, Need for Speed Payback is the only game where SMT off shows to be benefic and actually brings more FPS over the table, being them average or 1% lows. But that is normal since Need for Speed Payback is pretty CPU intensive using between 60 and 80% of Ryzen 5 3600. The last test of today is Cinebench R15. Here we can clearly see that the single core performance is exactly the same. So the boost we've seen in games before was solely due to latencies I guess. As for the multi-core performance, it is heavily reduced from 1680 to 1156. This will be a clear handicap for people making use of multi-threading, so SMT off is indeed a big no for multi-threading. So guys, concluding. Is it worth or not to put the SMT off? Well, in my opinion, it is a big no. You will lose one of the best parts of this CPU, which is, is multi, its, its multi-threading ability. So you, you will lose six cores, in this case six threads, but, but well, the multi-threading ability will decrease a lot, as can be seen in Cinebench R15. Um, and if, for example, if you render, if you do, for example, compressing, decompressing, if you do, for example, even multi-threading, for example, I use my, I use to, to game while rendering because I have 12 cores. If I have only 6 cores, I can't do that because the game will stutter like hell. Uh, that's just an example, but the, its multi-threading ability is one of its best, its, its best points. So... Why disable it to have, for example, 2 or 3 more FPS, in case of Payback, 10 more FPS, but you are already over 100 FPS, so not worth at all. It seems like 
even having uh, worse latencies, worse DDR and worse cache latencies, the SMT on and the SMT off doesn't make that much difference in this case on Ryzen 5. 3600. It may make more difference, for example, on a CPU that uses, for example, two CCDs. Uh, for example, let's say a Ryzen 9, a Ryzen 9 3900X. Well, the SMT off may increase the performance a bit more because uh, there are even higher latencies because of the CCDs uh, connecting to the CL CLDO and etc. etc. But in this case, on lower end CPUs, for example, up to Ryzen 7 3700X, the difference is almost nothing. So not worth to lose the multi-threading ability just to gain a bit more FPS. My opinion only. And that's it guys, thanks a lot for watching. The next video will be Ryzen 7 1700 versus Ryzen 5 3600 or Ryzen 5 2400G versus Ryzen 5 3600. Both of the videos have the title worth the upgrade or not. Simple as it can be. Guys, one more time, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a comment on the comment section if you are watching this part because it really matters a lot to me. And also, see you in the next video. Thanks a lot one more time.